This is the newest egg hunt event in Shindo Life. Let me show you how it works. So, to access this event you will simply click on teleport or private server if you have private servers and you wanna use them. So, once you get into the game, your goal will be to collect 9 eggs that are spawned around the map. The locations of the eggs are always the same, but in each game they will have different locations within their spawns. Let me explain. For example, in one game I will have an egg spawned right over here, and in a different game it will not spawn in this location, but it is still one of the locations that you wanna check. It's pretty easy to remember these locations once you do this event a few times, but if you don't know them for now, you can just follow the video, and if you want to, you can repeat it each game. By the way, I made this hunt very slow and straightforward, just so you can follow it very easily. If you already know all the locations of the eggs, you can just skip through this part of the video. And if you just want to make sure that you know all of them, keep watching. So the first egg that we're gonna look for is this one right around the corner. Another location will be in here. By the way, there are going to be some slight cuts in the video, but I think it's still very clear where I'm going. Another location is right in the corner right over there behind the bush. Next are the eggs in the sand which are pretty easy to spot and pretty close to each other. One of them will be right in this small corner over here. This one is very easy to spot, kind of out in the open. Another one is in the flower right over here. Another location will be right around this corner, behind the bushes. Right here. The next one would be very close to it. Over here. Another one is here behind this bush. Right over here. Another one is here in the corner of these two bushes. Another one is right around the corner in here. Right over here. Another one is pretty close to the other as well. Right over here. Another one should be right over here. Next one should be over here. Another one is next to this bush. The next is here on top. Another one is behind that bush over there in the corner. Right in here. Another one is in this house. Another one is in this corner over here. The next is behind that flower.
Another one is under the flower on the wall. The next is under these three flowers over here. Another one is under this bush. The next is pretty close to it, right over here. The next is right around this corner. Another one would be right here. And the last three are in this cave. Here. Here. And here. Now for each egg that you collect, you actually get 3000 rail coins. If you have the double rail coin game pass, you obviously get 6000 per egg. So this is a great way to earn rail coins as well. So once you collect all these nine eggs, you will be teleported to this location over here, where you will have six scrolls on the ground. And the scrolls can drop anything from sub abilities, bloodlines, ninja tools that you can collect. And unfortunately, the rewards are not shared amongst the three players that play the game but if you got something like a private server then you have an advantage because you can collect all the scrolls for yourselves if you want to have a private server for free and you don't have the private server creator game pass then you can simply join my discord server which has a list of private servers that were already used either by me or the members in my discord server also if you want to you can of course play with other members and they for example managed to get like sub three minute runs on the egg hunt which is pretty good so imagine that you get six scrolls every hunt and if one hunt took you like five minutes you would have 72 scrolls in one hour unfortunately what i noticed though is that you don't get gen 1 and gen 2s from the scrolls which is kind of unfortunate but you still get the gen 3s so that's pretty nice. The best drops that I got was, for example, Ryan Rengoku, which, as you can see, is on the thumbnail of this video. And I think that something that could actually help you grind through these hunts even faster is using something like Tintails Stage 2. Because as you can see, with this mode, you can actually fly through the map really, really quickly. You can go through these different locations very quickly. But be careful because you might miss some eggs if you just go around as fast as this. But it might be useful to you if you remember the locations and you know a little bit where the eggs could be. So you can just very quickly fly to these locations. Also be careful when you're doing the egg hunt on one server over and over. Because there is a glitch that when you actually stack up the scrolls, you won't be able to claim any of them. As you can see in this video. Real Games also decided to release some codes, so I'll just put all of the working codes right now on the screen. So if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe, leave a like, comment down below what you think about this update. Me personally, I pretty much enjoyed it. I enjoyed it on a stream when it came out. And overall, I think it's a pretty cool update. It's a good way of earning RC and scrolls that you didn't have, or pretty much some rare scrolls or even bloodlines. And that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you liked it, and I see you in the next one.